one issue is with, you know, one thing that's being found is it's important to maintain muscle mass as you age. Uh, so I think people need to be a little bit careful, uh, to, you know, to take in sufficient energy uh, to maintain their muscle mass. Um, so, for example, these the people in the calorie restriction society may be overdoing it. And you know the story of Roy Walford, who was in I Biosphere do. 2? You can tell the story. Okay. I can't remember exactly when it was, 70s or 80s or 1980s. I can't remember. There's something called Biosphere where these two people uh, down in Arizona – essentially they built this bubble and they grew plants in there and the, the goal was to see if they could be self-sustaining for long term and so what happened was they were all right for a while and then after a while they started not being able to uh, generate sufficient food and they lost a lot of body weight and, you know, essentially on the point of starvation. And so they had to finally come out of the biosphere. And one of them was Roy Walford, who had also done a lot of uh, important work on calorie restriction. Actually, a lot of very important early work with Rick Weinrich at University of Wisconsin, showing that calorie restriction can extend lifespan. And then Roy Walford... When was it? So as you get older, your perception of time is messed up. Roy Walford died in, I'd like to say, like 15 years ago or something. Uh, uh, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. So it's a muscle wasting disease involving degeneration of the neurons that uh, innervate those muscles and. And th that was really interesting because you know, I mentioned these studies that we've done with intermittent fasting in animal models of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, epilepsy, and we found it was beneficial. But we also tried every other day fasting in a mouse model of ALS. And what we found is it made it worse. So, of course, these mice are destined to have ALS, so the kind of the abnormal processes are already in motion when we put the animals on intermittent fasting, but their motor function, uh, we have ways of testing their motor function, declined much more precipitously when they were on intermittent fasting. Um, so I think that's the important. And then my own personal case. Um, so I've always had a low BMI and I started doing daily time restricted eating like 30 years ago, not eating breakfast. And I was kind of an endurance semi-athlete, semi uh, trail running, mountain bike riding. Actually, when I was a kid, I used to race motocross. And, but anyway, I did a lot of running. And so my BMI is always around, it's very low, like 18, 18.5, you know, somewhere there. And then two years ago, I had a mountain bike accident. And not to be too gory, but essentially <laughs> tore my rectus abdominis muscle off my pubic bone and had a doctor partially coming off. I had to have three surgeries and I've had other issues now, but so I've lost some um, muscle mass, particularly in my legs during this ordeal. And I'm having trouble building it back up. So like in hindsight, it's always 2020 20, and like, you know, I couldn't have predicted I'd have a mountain bike accident and have all this going on. But in hindsight, I probably would have been better off 
and I didn't really do any resistance training because I was, when I was running, when I started running in the seventies, like there was no such thing as cross training. It was like the runners, the training is you run and you stretch and you run. And somehow, I guess because I'm stupid, I didn't pick up on, hey, as you know, people started doing cross training stuff, I didn't pick up on, hey, I should be working my core and I should be, you know, keeping, you know, some muscle mass, you know, so all these years I was mainly just doing the same thing. But anyway, so that's just like a personal anecdote. And um, you know, it, it, so, so it, have, I guess what I'm saying is, having a low body weight can be good, but you have to be a little careful during aging to make sure that you have a good muscle bass as part of that. Like the main, well, I guess I was mostly muscle mass anyway, but um, still. Yeah, more muscle mass.